Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Tech Savvy here. Uh, in this video, I'm actually going to show you guys how you can put your YouTube chat into your OBS stream so that way people can see it, you know, naturally in the chat and in the stream. Um, let's say if they watch after you have streamed, that way they can see, you know, who you're having conversations with and so forth instead of wondering, well, who's he talking to or who is she talking to, etc. And just a brief demonstration. Not demonstration, I'm sure you guys you can see right here. This is a live stream from the other night of mine where you can see the live chat is inside of the window. And then we're gonna sh show you guys how to do that. So what you wanna do is um the way I do it, which really is anyway, it doesn't matter as long as you can get to your live streaming. So you can click on the upload button here, click get started with live streaming. I personally click Creator Studio. Okay, after we get here, you're going to want to click on live streaming. You don't have to be streaming, so I mean, not, as you can see in the chat, I, I was typing and I was not streaming. And it will still relay over to OBS. But as you see here there are three dots if you click that it gives you a few options participant participants pop out chat etc we want to pop the chat out what this does is it gives the chat its own browser source its own web address instead of being a part of the main page of youtube it sep basically separates it so we're going to want to copy this Hit Control C if you selected it for on um, Windows. To be honest, Mac. I don't know. Right click and copy. <laughs> so right click, copy, and minimize it. Do whatever you may. Whoops. Okay, now we're back in OBS. Got the link copied. Now we want to add it to the actual stream under your sources here anywhere in there you just all you want to do is right click it add and um, one thing just in case you are still using OBS um, I believe it's called classic which should be <laughs> highly recommend it this is um, I'm using OBS studio the current version is 18 um, if you're using OBS Classic, you may have to download the CLR uh, browser plugin, I believe it's called, which gives you access to a web source. With this, OBS Studio by default, add, boom, there's browser source. It's already in there for you. So we're going to click that because that's what we want to add, because that's what we copied. Name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name mine chat okay and as you see you know it brings up the normal um, OBS homepage as it normally would but we're gonna get rid of that so under URL what you want to do is right click paste or control V which is shortcut to paste, paste, paste it in there. <laughs> Sorry. Um, with the width and the height, you can uh, sit there and you know, adjust it manually, but it's a lot easier if you just do it like a width and a height, a certain one. For instance, I usually do it, um, is it three, 300? Yeah, 300. Yeah, 300 for the width and 450 for the height. Leave everything else default. If you know some CSS coding, you can uh, have some fun in there and change colors, etc. But actually, an easier way to change the color and the opacity in a moment. But after you did that, you just want to hit OK. Now, there we go. YouTube chat is now officially in the OBS stream, but does it work? We're going to find out. 
So, here is the link that we copied from the chat box. So I'm going to type in there. And as you can see right now, it is 10.56 p.m. I'm going to type in hello. So when I hit enter, you should see in a second or two, it pop up inside of OBS. And there it is. I guess I have to re-enable timestamps. I don't know why the timestamps are coming up on that. But as you can see, you know, um, that's how you get in there. Again, you can do that, resize it. Another um, little trick I actually learned the other day I didn't know about. Um, if you hold Alt and then let's let, <laughs> left click, you can actually, if you see on the screen, it will highlight the green border that you are moving and you can move it. Sometimes you can only move it so much because of the width and the height that you preset for it. But let's say you know you set to the height and width that I did and you don't like it, you can adjust by this a little bit more or go back and change the numbers. Which you just do by double clicking or right clicking and going to properties. Now, as you see, we can't see through it. We want to it to be somewhat transparent or even mostly transparent. Maybe you want a different color. I'm going to show you how to do that also. So, chat is what I named it. We're going to right click on chat. We're going to go to filters because basically filters in OBS is like effects in a way. So there's the chat. Um, there's obviously you can see there's many ones you do scroll color key sharpen with this I just do color correction I just default name and you can sit here and you know mess with the brightness and all that but there's really no need to um you shift etc here's the opacity let me move this over a little bit not that far And you'll see in the chat um, OBS's main window when I change the um, lower the opacity, it will become more transparent. The chat window will. So on there, you see, basically it disappears. Bring it back, so forth. Um, select color if you want to get a little bit, you know. Depending on the game, the game's background, be careful with the colors. Um, sometimes I'm a big fan of blue, I love blue, but a lot of the games, uh, the background is just too dark, and even a lighter blue just does not look too good. But I'm going to select that, and OK, and I'm going to hit this, and the chat box will change. You can change, for instance, where it says my name, Tech Savvy Gaming. You can change that, but in order to do that, you have to actually go into the CSS. Um, I'll show you the little thing at the beginning, and you can mess with this. Um, just Google um, YouTube Chat OBS CSS coding, and basically you can get some uh, basically pre-made minimal lines of coding. I mean some of them are four or five lines and you can sit there and have some fun with that. Change uh, other people's um, name. Change the font, the default font that when you type when it displays it won't be what this normally is. So a lot of cool things you can do with it. Um, so yeah, so figured I'd do that. Show you guys how to do that. A few subscribers of mine asked how I did that. So that's basically it. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like. If you're new around here, please also subscribe. I do tech videos, um, gaming, live streaming of games, basically, um, which most live streams are games. <laughs> um, you know, tech stuff as in like like hardware or even software like this, or even re um, 
reviews. So if you're into that type of thing, um, just go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you guys around next time. Thank you for watching.